Now in travel, Debbie's been to Central Otago, one of my favourite spots ever, checking out the best autumn destinations. Good morning, Deb. Good morning. Well, it is an unbelievably beautiful place mm. in Arrowtown and Queenstown. Last week I was telling you how to relax and how to unwind in Queenstown. This week I wanted to find the best places to eat and all the art as well, so check it out. Arrowtown is home to one of our best artisan bakeries. Provisions produces award-winning jams, chutneys and preserves that have no additives, preservatives or colouring. Everything is made with local fruit. Um, so the cherries are really, you know, beautiful tasting cherries and the apricots and the peaches. And yeah, so we, we just focus on using what grows naturally, you know, and using the thyme that grows on the hills and, you know, one of our products, um, Central Otago cherries and Pinot Noir, so that's like a real signature combination of, of the two products. Amongst the homemade baking, the signature sticky buns. Danish pastry, jam and cinnamon make this a much-loved local product. And take note of the building, Jane loves the history. This building here used to be owned um, by one of the mayors, you know, back in the gold mining times, um, and it was the bakers here. So, yeah, but this pot is actually a combination of two cottages now when they, um, when they restored it. I, I love the sense of place, and I think, you know, people have been so hardy when they've come here. It's not, it can be a very harsh environment, and especially, you know, back, you know, back in the late 1800s. Cars certainly feel out of place here in Arrowtown, so grab a bike and head out to Gibston Valley, one of the region's founding wineries. The focus on handcrafting premium wines and honouring traditions. We feel, and why I like living here and working here, we feel Central Otago does that in a way that no other place in the world can do it. It's the uniqueness of the place that draws you in. We have hot days and cold nights big staggering changes in a short growing season so that means our white wines are vivid they have such clarity such brightness uh, and, and we have a different soil here schist rock it's everywhere um, that that makes our wines unique and that's the, that's the key thing wine's got to have a pool what draws you to it go on a tour and tasting in New Zealand's largest wine cave or book a table in the courtyard for lunch the meals thoughtfully created with local seasonal ingredients uh, it's crucial to, to be able to um, match our product with the food and, and Mark and Sue Sage, uh, husband wife team, uh, they've been here longer than any of us at Gibson Valley, they've been here over 20 years and you know, they're, they're not trying to impress you with the flavours, they have a very synergistic, uh, intuitive touch with their food so it matches nicely with the wine. Back into Queenstown for a wander around the art precinct. Fiordland's moody mountains and lush green bush captured in photographs at Roma Gallery. I love to be extreme, you know, jump on a chopper and when I'm up there I'm, I'm shooting super wide angle, uh, like on mid-format camera with 24 millimeter, that is very wide. So we can fly really close to the, to the mountains and you still get the whole mountain uh, into the picture and I think that it is it creates unusual pictures like people don't see usually from a plane. Or... Head next door for dinner. Queenstown's Botswana butchery is a super special treat. The staff are warm, friendly and knowledgeable. I can highly recommend the delicate but tasty venison tartar, the bluff oysters served two ways, the lamb shoulder, the beetroot salad, duck fat potatoes, the duck main. Actually, it's all amazing. Oh, absolutely beautiful, Debbie. Great time of the year to see all those autumn colours, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And as we've seen, some fantastic places to eat. Yeah, I mean, Central Otago just has this amazing cuisine, this amazing produce. But look, if you can't get there in autumn, winter is also a really good time to go down to Queenstown. And, uh, the Winter Festival coming up soon. It starts on June 22nd, so now's a really good time to be planning your trip down to Queenstown. So, of course, the Winter Festival they've got, it, it takes over the town, I'm told, all the way from the lakefront all the way up to the mountaintop. So, music, comedy, heaps of really great events that you can have fun in and take part in. And, of course, the annual ball where you can all get all glammed up as well. So, uh, tickets are already on sale. They went on sale this week. Nice work. Thank you so much, Debbie. Great fun and very jealous. <laughs> and if you want more inspiration for your next trip to Queenstown, you can check out the website queenstownnz.co.nz.